I literally was one phone call away from me putting in the back of a police car and being sent downtown at 13 years of age in the seventh grade. What's up guys, it's your boy DJ back in the house with another great video for you guys. So we finna get into this video, no time wasted at all. But before we do, reason I decided to pick this story time as my first story time on this channel is because it's juicy. Like, low-key, y'all might think this story is stupid, but this story is juicy. So, let's just get into it without any time wasted. Now, um, I'm not like over-exaggerating the title either. I literally was one phone call away from me putting in the back of a police car and being sent downtown at 13 years of age in the seventh grade. So, uh, that's like the setting of the story. I was 13 years old in the seventh grade, and uh, it was the weekend. Now, you know how you got your best friend on the weekend, y'all? Like, go to each other's house and play video games. That's what happened with me. And we would call my best friend, uh, j Dog. j Dog and me, you know, we was like inseparable. Every day, every weekend, we was together playing Terraria in my house on our computers. And this weekend was supposed to be no different. You know, we was gonna hang out in my house and chill. Now, um, he came over the day before and we just gamed the whole night, like I said, on our favorite game Terraria. If you don't know what that game is, by the way, go check out the link down below in the description. It's an awesome game, I think everybody should try it. If you don't like it, fine, that's cool, but it's on Xbox, PS4, PC, and I'm, just, I'm not gonna pay this promotion because I'm not even that big yet, but it's just a great game. Uh, I think everybody should try it out at some point. Now, that said, that was the plan, you know, we chill and we play Terraria. Now, um, we did that that night, and in the morning, he was like, hey, you trying to go get some Jack in the Box? I was like, yeah, bet. He had money. I didn't. I was broke at the time. So he was like, I got you, bro. Go to Jack in the Box, get our breakfast, and we just we just munching. Get back to my house, and he like, all right, we're going to do the same thing today. We're going to sit in the house all day and play the game. Now, I had no problem with that. No problem whatsoever. But I am also a busybody. I had to be moving. I can't just sit in the house all day. Twice, like, you know, two days in a row and do that. I had to go outside for at least an hour. So, I was like, you know what, we can do that, but on one condition. We gotta go outside first. Now, usually Jalen, you know, like, he doesn't mind going outside, but he usually doesn't. Unless I, oh, I just said his name. That's fine. Uh, Y'all know his name, Jalen, but I'm calling him J-Dog. Usually, he doesn't go outside unless, like, I pull him out there. Not saying he's lazy, it's just he likes computers and stuff like that a lot. So, we get outside and... There's nothing to do. We're bored. You know, usually we have friends that come out. But it was early in the morning. Nobody was up. We was the only ones up. Uh, nobody was outside. There was literally nothing to do. So it was like, dang, bruh. So we started walking around my neighborhood. And uh, we stumbled upon, surprisingly, a car piece part. Specifically a brake pad, I think it's called. Or a brake part. Whatever that thing is called. If y'all don't want, if y'all don't know what it looks like, picture right there. But we stumbled upon one of those inside somebody's yard. And I was so confused while I was there. But I didn't care. I was bored. So I picked it up. Now, this thing is like kind of a half circle, but also kind of skinny. But with a little bit of weight to it. So I was like, we can throw this at stuff and do some damage. And he was like, you right. So we, we had the little look like, oh, 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 oh snap. And we, we, we got to work. We started throwing it at ant piles, dirt. More ant piles, more dirt. And uh, we eventually like went up the scale. That's when we started throwing it at fences and stuff like that. And that's when it started to get bad. We started throwing fences, then we got bored with fences. Now fence is is like, the, 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 it's, it's a wooden fence. Now what's stronger than wood? Metal. What do houses have? Metal garages. So we was like, hey, there's a house, five houses down, that looks pretty abandoned. We could possibly go see what this thing can do. That was like the little thought process that we had that was really stupid at the time. Keep in mind, we're seventh graders, 13, he might have been 14. And um, we were stupid. So, uh, also because this house was five houses down. You could clearly see this house from my house. If somebody like my parents look out the window and see us doing this, we're dead automatically, so we didn't care. We, we, we didn't, we were stupid. So we get down there to the house, 
and we looking around trying to make sure ain't nobody seen. You know, we was like really paranoid, so that should have been the first sign. We should not be here, but once again, we didn't stop. So we kept going, you know, make sure nobody was around. And once it was clear, I got the piece and I launched back. No hesitation whatsoever and just walked bow through it. And we did not expect it to shatter our eardrums. We took off so fat in opposite directions. We didn't care about where each other was going. I didn't care where he was going. I was worried about myself. I took off, bro. I was going in that mother. You think I'm fast now, bro? <laughs> I was burning then. So we run like to the back of the neighborhood, basically, because like, uh, hey, hey, shit, bad cat. Hey, I'm trying to tell a story here, young blood. We keep scratching on the cat couch. We gonna have some problems in here, young blood. And that's my story. Um, we run opposite directions and meet up at the back of the neighborhood. You know, I see him running, I see he see me running, we meet up. We like, dang, that was a loud sound. And instead of, you know, thinking about what we just did and being like, we shouldn't go back there, it's a bad idea, let's go back in the house, play some games, we was like, why don't we go back? We didn't see anybody come out the house. It don't really seem like anybody noticed, and we could have just been like paranoid, and it probably wasn't even that loud of a sound. But it sounded loud in the <laughs> So we decided to go back. Decided to go back to the house. I'm gonna kick this cat. Hey, stop scratching on the blinds. <laughs> we decided to go back there. Now, that was a stupid idea from the start. And, um, yeah, that, that's like kind of what caused our downfall, going back there. Now we go back there and we don't see anybody outside the house. We don't, you know, see, you know, any sign that anybody's been there. And the car brake piece is just laying there. So we're like, hey, ain't nobody hear that? Ain't, ain't nobody, nobody, nobody lives in this house. That's the idea we got. We just banged the garage and nobody came out. This house is abandoned. That's the thought we got. So we kept doing it, you know, taking turns. Boom, 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 boom. Now, keep in mind, we weren't that confident to like put our full strength into this car feeds and hit the garage, we were pretty sure it was gonna go through. But you know, we was hitting it with decent strength. I was getting kind of bored. I was like, hey, this is this isn't that cool. We're not even making that big of dents. So then that's when I was like, hey, last hit, give me the car piece. He said on that side of the garage, like the garage in front of us, and I'm over here and he's over there. I launch back so hard. Woof. I felt like I was a professional baseball player. I was like, I'm finna mess this thing. Oh, chuck the mess out of that car piece. Now this one was loud. There was no way we could have just been like, uh, th there was no way that we were just freaking out, freaking out about how loud this sound was. This sound was loud to anybody. And we took off once again, <laughs> this time faster than before, we took off. Because we knew somebody was going to come out and say something. So we took off running and once again met at the back of the neighborhood. And that's when we was like, okay, we're good. Okay, we're fine. And that's when we was like, we're going to stop. We're going to chill out. Let's walk to, back to my house. Let's chill, go in the house, lock all the doors, close the windows, and hide under my bed. But you see what happened was we got caught. <laughs>